Okay, so big hello to all of you. I'm going to discuss a new pattern AIMS question. Now the new prospectus of AIMS has given a totally different protocol. And now, now, now they're not going to ask one line of question or just true false question. They have different pattern where they have matched the following and ascending descending order and assessment and reasoning. So this question is based on multiple completion type answer. And this is one type of question that you must attempt because the plus is one and minus is only 0.25%. I mean, one fourth of a number. So all other uh, format, they are taking one and negative marking is also one giving one also. But here, the positive is one and the negative is one fourth. So definitely very, the yield is better here and risk is less. So one should go for this. If so, here the four option one, two, three, four. One is if ABC is correct. Two is AC are correct, three is BD are correct, and four is all four correct. Which of the following is not a hard sign? API less than 0.9, palpable thrill, history of active bleeding, expanding hematoma. In vascular injury, like all other injury, according to triage, we have divided injury into immediate. You have to go for immediate intervention, do exploration, repair, or you have time to investigate. For investigation, either we order Doppler <clears throat> or CTNGU or first we order API. So in hard sign, you don't go for investigation. It means immediate exploration. Immediate you go for repair or exploration. And palpable thrill is a hard sign. Ischemic limb is a hard sign. Absent pulse is a hard sign. Expanding hematoma is a hard sign. So here, just a hematoma, not expanding, becomes soft. Decreased pulse is soft sign, but absent pulse is a hard sign. So history of active bleeding, like the relatives are saying that uh, he has bled a lot at the site of trauma. No, that's not a hard sign. That's a soft sign. But if he is bleeding either pulsatile bleeding, pulsatile, or continuous bleeding with shock, these become hard sign. API, what is API? It's just a difference between the injured limb and the normal limb. You make the, you uh, go for Doppler and you see the pressure difference. Like you apply BP cuff here, there's an injury here, and take the pressure above systolic, put Doppler probe here, and reduce the pressure. And you know at what exact pressure you get the pulsations and in the normal limb. So if the difference is less than 0.9, I mean 90% of this injured limb, is 90% or below than the normal limb, then that becomes a soft sign and patient should be investigated further. So here B, so let's see the hard sign and soft sign, then I'll come back to question. Hard signs are absent pulse, ischemic limb, pulsatile bleeding, expanding hematoma, shock with ongoing hemorrhage, and palpable thrill or audible bruit. So in hard sign, you have very clear cut protocol, absent pulse, not decreased pulse. Decreased pulse becomes soft sign. Ischemic limb, pulsatile hematoma, pulsatile bleeding and expanding hematoma. Normal hematoma, non-expanding is soft sign. Bleeding ooze is a soft sign, but pulsatile bleeding is a hard sign. And bleeding with shock again is a hard sign. Soft signs are history of active bleeding, decreased pulse, non-expanding hematoma, injury to adjacent nerve or penetrating injury in the close proximity to the blood vessel. Bony injury or penetrating injury very close to blood vessel becomes a soft sign. So in this, A and C are not hard sign. It's a history of active bleeding. It's not a pulsatile bleeding. It's not a bleeding with shock. It's history of active bleeding. And API less than 0.9 is a soft sign. It definitely tells there's an injury, but it gives you time to investigate further. It's not mandatory that you to immediately operate, while B and D are hard sign. So in this question, I think three should be the answer. An answer is three. So. This is a protocol, suspected injury, go for hard sign, soft sign. Hard sign present, you can see directly take the patient to OT and operate. Soft sign present, then you do API. See the difference between normal limb, the injured limb and the normal limb. And if it is less than 0.9, go for CT angiography. Now CT angiography is considered the investigation of choice for vascular injury, not Invasive angiography, CT angiography. If positive, then go for intervention. And if negative, then of course you can keep patient under observation. Right? So, 
So this is another question which is based on the new protocol, the new scenario of the aims. And uh, um, this actually the advantage here for this, this kind of question, you get one mark and you lose only one fourth of the mark. So you must attempt such kind of question. 